Now, but does that mean that you're going to challenge her if she runs? Are you seriously looking at this? Well, I'm looking around, but gosh, I like Iowa. I, you know, my first trip to Iowa was when I was four years old. I went out there with my parents and we looked at some of our cattle and people. I'll answer the question. You know, come on, Montana, put your stake in the ground. Yeah. You know, give, give George Stephanopoulos something to talk about. The ground is frozen in Montana. I can't get a stake in it. You know, by the way, Florida is an early primary state and it's 80 degrees right now. I could get a stake in the ground there. I'll take it as not a no. That's right. Yeah, no, that's what I was going to I think, and look, I think, leaving aside the foreign policy side, there is a market in the Democratic Party, and you saw this with your clips of de Blasio here in New York, for a, uh, a populist Democrat who will run against Hillary Clinton as the you know, former senator from Goldman Sachs and uh, much too close and, to the And I do want to bring that to Ben's with you. You saw who was on stage, with, you saw who was on stage with, with de Blasio, which was Bill Clinton. I mean, I think the Clintons are intensely aware of that. I mean, that was the most either Clinton had probably ever talked about inequality on that stage. Yeah, but so. that's a big danger zone for her. Uh, because he can fail, and he can fail quite spectacularly, and then, you know, she's associated with it. Well, yeah, yeah. Can I tell you guys something? So you're all from the Acela Corridor, right? Washington, D.C., and New York. Well, guys, it's not, not all you about you. <laughs> no, no, we're from Montana and Miami, and we were talking. Showing us, and Brian, you think anybody in Montana knows who Bill de Blasio is? Yeah, no nobody idea. in Miami. No, 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 no not the mayor, no, though, but about the points that he's raising and the themes that he's running on on this inequality theme and, uh, and anti corporatist theme. That's a theme that you've been hitting as well. Love to talk about it, but the point is, you're a mayor, Buster. You got to make sure exactly. the snow gets plowed. Absolutely. You got to make sure the garbage gets picked up. That's you got to right. make sure the bad guys get locked up. Mayors have to run cities, governors have to balance budgets. Washington, D.C., they get to talk about but, it. But, but, but that's where he can fail so miserably and that's where it can be a problem. It's also true that this notion that there's this resurgence of liberalism, there's a difference between populism and liberalism. And uh, the liberalism, you know, we, we never see a poll that shows more than about 20% of Americans identifying themselves as liberals. Well, de Blasio calls it progressivism. Yes. I mean, I think, you know, we know what Governor, I, mean, I think what you saw this week actually is probably what you'll see a lot of New York. Like, the snow actually got picked up fine, but de Blasio also created this total political kind of mess around his inauguration with his very, very confrontational set of speeches. And, I mean, I think, you know, his choices to not do what Obama did, to not reach out, to basically write off anybody who disagrees with him from the start. But, you know, we but gotta... this, this issue about the national implications of Bill de Blasio, in my humble opinion as a Miamian, is a bit overblown. Yeah. Uh, you know, a little full of themselves, I would <laughs> right, say. Yeah. No. Okay, we must quickly go, we're just about out of time. I want to quickly go around That's the table. One, uh, one question. What's the biggest <laughs> thing Congress is going to get done this year? The biggest thing Congress is going to get done this year? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Nothing. I mean, I think they will succeed in kicking the debt, taking care of the debt ceiling in February or March, and there will not be a government shutdown uh, either on debt ceiling so or on the budget. do no harm. Right. They might do immigration. They, uh, I think that that is a real possibility, and uh, that would be a big thing. Yeah, I think the wildly optimistic forecast is not shutting down the government. <laughs> the only thing they really care about is to raise a lot of money from the powerful and get reelected. Another outsider. Last word. I'm sticking with immigration, and I think we may also see something on NSA. A few get put into law. Thank you all. A lot of passion here this morning. Up next, Bob Woodard talks with Mark Wahlberg about Lone Survivor, his new film based on the harrowing story of Nathan